Right guys, we are back and we are playing against Arsenal at the London Stadium now today. I'm not I'm not too confident about it today because uh, we're up against Aubameyang and Lacazette. Probably two of the uh, best strikers in the Premier League at the moment. Uh, come at me. Um, but yeah, I'm not too confident about today's game. I think we'll lose, like I said in my Premier League prediction. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Arsenal win. Find that team news in about 10 minutes. Guidelines. Right, so the team news has just been released. We start Navri against Arsenal. Um, I think it's actually quite a good move from Pellegrini because he did play quite well against Birmingham in the Cup. Also, uh, Arnautovic starts, uh, despite all the contract rumours and uh, all the transfer speculation and all that. Um, I think that he can play a good role today. It's just dependent, like I said, against Birmingham, whoever gets the first goal. That's how the game's going to go, so, yeah, still not too confident, but uh, always hope. Go on, your hands. Right, so it's half time, Arsenal nil, West Ham nil. Um, we actually did quite well considering um, considering Arsenal's attack and how uh, clinical they are. Um, I think that Arnautovic has been I think Arnautovic has been distracted by all the contract rumours and all the transfer stuff that's been going on recently. But I think that we are definitely showing signs that we can score. There were opportunities for Arsenal, but they couldn't really take them. There was a chance for Lacazette in the first couple of minutes, um, where he blazed it over the bar. Um, no, actually, it went out for a throw-in. But, um, but yeah, I think that we can possibly take this. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking 2-0 now. Um, if we get a draw, I'm still happy with that. Uh, if we lose only 1-0, then can't really complain with that. But if we win, then it'll be very, very big for us. Nasri, Nasri's coped very well with the Arsenal fans, slating him because he's uh, obviously the stuff that's happened with him. So I think that we can come out for a big second half and hopefully we can get something out of this. Go on, yours. Bubbles! Yes! Declan 
Right guys, so it's a couple of days after the game and it was a phenomenal win to beat Arsenal in the manner like that and especially with Declan Rice getting his first goal for West Ham. Big moment for the kid, he's uh, 20 today so it's a very, very momentous occasion for the young lad and yeah, it was just a good win in general really. I feel, I feel like we put in a very good performance. It was, um, we shut Arsenal down. Aubameyang and Lacazette didn't really get into the game uh, like we have done against the uh, against the big clubs so far this season, our defence has just sort of uh, kept them at bay. Um, we appear to do this against the top six clubs. But when we play someone like Burnley or even Wolves, we can't really contain them and, that, and that's how they get the wins against us. So, yeah, all in all, I'm very happy with that. Um, on out of each, um, it's, it's not looking good. But, um, but I think Dan Lawless put, puts it perfectly. We we knew from the get go that Arnautovic was a bit of a bastard, and you can't have a go at him for when he's being a bastard. You see the way that he left Stoke. You see the way that he uh, basically down talked Stoke and sort of made them sound like a smaller club than West Ham. So I mean, it's come to expected, especially from a player like Arnautovic. Like he, like he's one of those players where he's a bastard, but if you play for him, then you absolutely love him. So, yeah, um, Arnautovic looks like he's on his way out, so it probably opens the door for Jordan Hugel now. So hopefully now he gets a chance to go into the first team and sort of prove himself, because he didn't really get that opportunity last season. So hopefully we can get to see him there, and hopefully he can showcase what he can do. Also, while i got you guys here, I thought I'd just look over the uh, Premier League predictions. Uh, currently up against Billy, and uh, safe to say it's not looking good for him. Um, basically, I have got 19 points so far. The Manchester City game hasn't been played yet, but um, Billy hasn't even reached double figures yet. He's on six points. He's only got two results correct. He hasn't got a single score correct, and yeah, it's not looking good for him. But if Manchester City win tonight, I not only get on 24 points, but Billy will be level with Regan on 11. So, yeah, guys, I think that is about it. It's my last game at West Ham now for quite a few months. I'm not sure when my next game will be. It'll probably be Wolves away. Uh, might be, might not be. We'll have to see what's happening with that. But, yeah, we've got more Premier League predictions, like I've said. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.